Next question is from Russell Gerwer. With all the uncertainty around gyms reopening, everyone is investing in at-home gyms to progress their fitness during these challenging times. What, in your opinion, are the must-have pieces of equipment for a, an at-home gym? Mm. What should someone expect to spend? Now, first off, um, you don't need any equipment to work out. Okay, that's true. Now, equipment makes it a lot easier, and it gives you much more variety, novelty, gives you a lot more options. But you really don't necessarily need equipment or much equipment at all to have a good workout. I mean, we, we create a program called Maps Anywhere where all you need is a, re, is a stick. So you can use a broomstick and resistance bands very, very minimally. Now, that being said, if somebody says, I want to buy equipment so I can work out, the first piece of equipment that I would recommend you buy is dumbbells. Dumbbells are the most versatile piece of equipment that exists. I could do, I could train any body part uh, with a pair of just adjustable dumbbells. So I'll say, I'll, I'll start right there. Well, I, I think that, um, I mean, we love our PRX setup. I mean, that's I mean, we we built it at this place. We're getting it done in the studio. Justin has one in his house. So mm-hmm. I, I love how functional it is. I, know, I love how you can tuck it away on the wall and still use your garage for parking your car. So I think that's, I think the question that you have to first ask yourself, though, is, is this going to be a, a potential long-term solution for you? Or do you have plans to, as soon as – the gyms open back up, you're done utilizing these tools and you're going back in. If that's the case, I actually wouldn't invest very much at all. In fact, I would just say, hey, here's a great time for me to do training like I would never do it before, to your mm-hmm. original point, Sal, which is you know, doing like a Maps Anywhere type of program, which doesn't require any equipment whatsoever. And you know, I know that's hard for some of us guys that have been used to lifting in the gym all the time, but one of the best things sometimes for that client that's training all the time that would be like a two month hiatus away from the gym and doing something that's more body weight mm-hmm. focused. You'll have great, you may not see the, the, the same gains that you were getting when you were lifting heavy weight inside the gym, but you'll see when you come back, a lot of times the, the gains accelerate. So, you know, one of the best things for someone that is thinking that this is just for this temporary time while we're all in shelter in place. You know, I don't know if I go out and invest thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars to try and, and get some equipment just to kind of hold me over until I'm going to go back in the gym. If my plan is to go back in the gym, mm-hmm. I'm going to follow a program that maybe doesn't require hardly anything and train train areas or do mobility like we've talked about before and focus on areas that I'm probably not addressing as much when I go inside the gym and do meathead style lifting, then I would do that. But if you think that this may be uh, a, a potential change forever, like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of digging this being at home or, you know what, I'm going to invest at home. Who knows when these gyms are going to open and maybe that's going to be my new place that I work out. Well, then, yeah, I mean, I, I, PRX, I think, is the best at this. I, I love working at home. It's yeah. always been my favorite. And, and all I need for me to do all my workouts are dumbbells, barbell, and some kind of a rack. PRX rack is my favorite. Um, it takes, it's so low profile. It's very, very sturdy. It literally folds up into the wall. But some kind of a rack so you can squat off of it. You can bench off of it. And an adjustable bench. Dumbbells, barbells, squat rack, adjustable bench. I can do everything. Mm-hmm. I can do everything with that. I really don't need anything else. You could throw resistance bands in it. You could throw a couple of things. But that's all I would say you need. Now, a rack, dumbbells, a barbell, adjustable bench, you could get for – And now, here's a problem – Unfortunately, as of the recording of this podcast, equipment is hard to come by. Mm-hmm. So the price of everything has gone up quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Before all this went down, I would say you could get all of that for anywhere between a thousand to two thousand dollars for good quality, you know, pretty sturdy equipment. Not tons and tons of weight, but enough for most Type people. Three yeah. is that now. Yeah, now it's going to be kind of tough to find stuff. Things are the, the markup on them is just well. I know b- I talked a bit to to the guys over at PRX, and uh, I know that their their racks are still available, and they're shipping those out uh, pretty pretty uh, good time wise. But the the plates are really hard to come by now. You know, dumbbells, obviously those types of things. Um, uh, if you're going for the long term strategy, I do think that you know a good rack is definitely a good investment. Uh, you know, wherever you could find one, or even if you're a dude 
do-it-yourself, you know, kind of a person. You're handy and you can build. We've seen a few examples of that on the forum yeah. and people getting creative. Uh, but I do find that to be very useful, that and, you know, an adjustable bench and, like you said. Uh, but I also really like kettlebells, and I just like mm. them for the short-term strategy, for the versatility they provide, for the different stimulus they provide. You can have a lot of uh, workouts that are similar to dumbbell workouts, but now it's just loaded different. It, it provides a little different type of range of motion and i just uh, i tend to gravitate towards that for outdoor workouts and things like that for a nice change of pace I, along those lines justin I, I mean i like suspension trainers too. yes of oh, course yeah. you know uh you can get those for uh, very reasonable online they still they're still available um and you could strap one of those up to almost anywhere a tree outside and get a phenomenal worker and a lot of people don't know this in our maps anywhere program we actually have a suspension trainer mod. There's a whole series of exercises that Justin and I, Justin and I shot mm -hmm. uh, well before we got together with Sal and Doug and created Mind Pump. We had uh, built, built out some programming that was around the suspension trainer. So if you have the Maps Anywhere program, you actually have access to it already. And that's a very reasonably priced piece of equipment that you can do anything on. You yeah. can. And, and, and while all of this stuff is going on, while all this uncertainty is going on, we're gonna keep uh, Maps Anywhere at, at half off. What's the code for that again? Is it white? Is it white fifty for Maps Anywhere? Yes, white fifty. White fifty. So you go. You could you could use that code and get half off, and that's a great you know almost equipment free workout. All you need are bands and a stick. 